Hey there, and welcome to today's reading. We're going to do a pick a card where we're going to go in depth about your past life, the one that's most prominent or the one that your guides want you to know about the most right now. So go ahead and select pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. I'll see you at your reading. Thank you so much for being here, and namaste. Hey there, group one. Welcome to your Akashic past life reading. If you picked the Monero Tarot, then this reading is for you. <laughs> so I already see Aries wants to come out, but we're going to take a look at the lesson that was most prominent in your last life. Interesting, we got the North Node about organizing yourself in business, but growing into this. Um, not only this, but tennis Capricorn energy, it's also completion and feeling entirely happy, feeling fulfilled in an organized fashion because you laid down the own groundwork for you to get where you want to be. Beautiful. This might feel like something you've mastered in this life or it could be something you're revisiting in this life. Either way, we're also going to look into how it's relevant for you right now, why it's coming up for you. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, spirits. We start out right off the bat with sun and moon. A lot of balance. Heavily balanced and manifestation energy here. We have the six of pentacles, judgment, and the ace of wands. Yeah. So, in the past, you had heavily balanced your masculine and feminine energy but you never quite looked at what it was that you wanted to reach. You were always trying to get there. And at the end of the day, when judgment was called, you looked at everything that you had built and you saw that it was good, that it was beautiful, it was stable. You loved it, but you wanted to go after something new, something creative, something spiritual. You realize that you put all this work into building something and it wasn't that you didn't want it. It was just that more so you wanted something else. And it took you this journey to realize it. This judgment card here. She's laying in the feet. This is Pluto energy transformation. She's surrendering, but surrendering to the universe. And all of these white doves are coming, it seems like, out of her body. She's creating peace. She's creating the universe. Laying the groundwork for where you are right now. With the Five of Pentacles, yeah. <clears throat> it might seem like in this life, you're always striving. You're always striving for something. And yeah, with the Death card here, punishment, it could seem like maybe for the beginning of this life, things weren't necessarily always on your side, but you persevered because you knew how. You already had the tools necessary. You would already learned this lesson and you knew that. You carried it with you. <clears throat> the hard part for you was communicating your individuality, communicating your past lives, communicating your memories and your wisdom and your ancestors into the life that you were born into. It's like you were born with knowledge and sent out on a journey alone. And many wanted you. This could have led towards... Um, A lot of negative energies wanting you or wanting to take your energy and you just feeling torn and, for lack of better words, naked, left and alone. But what we see here is that you were going back to basics and you decided to come back to the balance that you already know is your own baseline. And you learned that while well, we have six, five, four, three, <laughs> all of swords here, you're learning how to communicate, how to go back to the basics, how to communicate your own authentic, truest self. You had discovered what it was. Now, things needed to pressurize you so that you could grow into a place of speaking this truth for yourself. <laughs> wow, bottom of the deck energy, eight of swords. I shuffled, I promise. So, 
with this energy. You really want to create new cycles. You really want to express those little tiny bits and pieces that are left from this last life because you feel like you didn't get to express them then and it's like that's almost the entire reason that you're here now. Again with these synchronistic or these cards that go in order here. Um, the three and the two of wands. Hermit doesn't go there. Let's start with the magician. You are manifesting what you want because you have the tools to do so. You know what you want and you know how exactly to get it. At this point, you're watching and waiting. You're, it's like, you're literally just waiting for the eyes to be on you for everything that you have set into play up until this point to continue to roll. You know that, you know that expansion is coming towards you and you know that luck is on your side, but although it may not have looked like this in the past, it's your intuition and your ability to communicate hope and love and balance and not just communicate but lead by example in this way so it's this ability that is going to allow you to become successful because you already see it you already have it you already know what it looks like you're already living it you're already walking through it now you're just waiting for time to get where you are already with the five of wands yeah so there could be some some trials and tribulations trying to get here and that's why you decided to isolate yourself because sometimes your best thoughts happen alone sometimes the best realizations and projects happen when you're alone and the only way you can really go within yourself is to look within yourself so that definitely was very focused on the bridge between the past life and this life and I'm very interested in how we got both the sun and the moon. This lets me know with, with judgment and the world. Wow, all these cards that are coming out really are indicating that your last life definitely had some weight to it. I saw 707 as I said that. I'm going to leave the sun and moon here. And I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Please give me more information about Pile 1. Tell me about their past life. Who were they? What did they do? Ooh. We have father, husband, brother, son. Osiris. Beautiful. Emperor energy, for sure. Bottom of the deck, Lakshmi in reverse. So this is definitely very masculine energy here. You felt that you were always acting, but never quite creating. You were lacking. See, he fell out under the sun. And I want to see what comes out under the moon, because I feel like this is you too. We have yoga in reverse with Babaji. Or Babaji. <laughs> so, you, group one, it looks like there was something that was blocking your feminine energy. Yoga in reverse. In yoga, in <laughs> yoga, we use the term asana, which a lot of people attribute to the postures and poses, which yes, is that. But what it really means is to become comfortable with discomfort. It means to find, it means to be in a comfortable seated position or a comfortable position of any sort. And it seems that you were having a hard time getting comfortable in your feminine energy, getting comfortable in the expressive feminine passive, dark, beautiful parts of yourself. Okay, not this one. You got it, but check the bottom. Yes, Ganesh. So everything that you were meant to fulfill in the past life, you are still going to fulfill in this life, and that's why you have so many answers already. That's why you already know what you want. That's why you're already trained and skilled and ready to go, and that's why you're already acting on it. Because you already have all this... Me you have all of this memorized and you know how to act on it at this point you've just been learning how to express it and so yes it's coming to you because you are learning 
Wow. I'm going to roll the dice again. So not what were you learning, but what were you like? What would your best friend or your partner or your closest person say you were like? Capricorn. You were strict, but you always got the job done. Five, but you also knew how to play. Very in touch with your inner child. And Uranus. Individual, there's absolutely no one like you. There never has been and there never will be. And I'm feeling from this person, this entity, whoever it was, that they would and have recognized you <laughs> across lifetimes, across millennia. It could be that you have already met this person or you will meet this person. Um, or even just cross their paths and there will be a soul recognition. Okay, so let's see what some of these things are under the moon that you felt a little bit shy at going towards. I'm going to use my Light Seer's Tarot. So if you have the sun energy down, now, this life, you're learning to express your moon. But you're already acting towards it. So there are some problems in this life, perhaps, relating to feminine energy, feminine expression. I'm going to wait for one more card flip. <sighs> this is literally ridiculous what I'm hearing to do it, so I'm just going to do it. <coughs> okay, so in this last life, there was some kind of union that you didn't get because you were too available and at the same time didn't want to make a risk so you didn't heal this in this new life things have been moving very slowly and when it comes to love it might seem like there's a little bit of a hiccup even though your intuition is telling you otherwise you've been laying the groundwork for your own life because you realize that things that are meant for you will come to you anyway so you don't really have a problem walking away from things not that you haven't felt hurt you definitely have but you have been practicing your yoga you have come back to this place now in this life except now you're aware that you have so many options and that you were balanced you are balanced but you don't want something to throw you off of it so now you're wondering if what you were working for in the beginning is really what you actually wanted but you're not going to cry about it because you know that you can always keep going and get what it is that you want see you know that what is meant for you is already yours and you've already manifested it and you're just sitting here waiting and so it's almost like if you're feeling a heart blockage or you're feeling your heart closed or this trouble in love, it's almost for fun because you know where your passion lies and you know how to communicate it. You're just at the point where you're building what you want and it's almost there. So instead of crying, instead of allowing yourself to feel this heartache, which you are processing, you are working towards, it's like the universe is going to show you that you don't have to wait anymore, that everything that you finally expected to tumble down isn't going to, and there's your stability at the end of the day. It's right there. Bottom of the deck energy, page of cups. There is a new start coming for you in love or whatever this matter of the heart is. We got the page and we got the knight. Okay, but ten of cups in reverse. You're not able to see it currently or it is blocked because your guard's up. Yeah, you've been having patience. You do have temperance. You are having temperance. Um, a little bit more poise, I'm hearing, could be used, but... You're not sitting around waiting anymore. You're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying your life. You have rebirth. You're not juggling things anymore, looking back into the past. And there's your king. There he is. All right. But at this point, it's like you don't want to create with this anymore because that might not be what you physically want because you've already moved past it. You already expressed it. You already worked towards it. Like in the last life, you were too available, but didn't put enough effort in. And now you put all the effort in, but now it's like you're not available. So this external opportunity it feels like is coming in could be the same could be different could be the same thing in a different lens whatever it is king of pentacles with a physical offer this could be a job this could be something random this could be related this could be unrelated either way it's your reward right you've been working super hard at it and there's going to be a choice it's going to make you seem like wait this is way too good to be true am i missing something here and you're going to go in your head um, but you're not going to run away from it because at this point you've already conquered the devil and uh, 
one, two, three, four, five points. Yeah, he's just playing around anyway. Um, you know that. Um, you're not going to let him knock you off balance, but even if you have or you did, it's literally just for fun because you knew what you were doing the whole time. Um, 1444, I'm seeing as I read this. I honestly have three quarters of a deck out for you guys right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to move. Do move this. Don't grab another deck. I'm here and pick up the Monero Tarot again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know how we do. We process. But I want to know what it is that you want to know. You know, like what? Why'd you pick on that? Why'd you click on this reading? Why did? Why are you here? So what do you want to know? This one first? You got it. All right. Seven of air and ten of air. Okay. Seven and ten of swords. Communication. Hmm. Sultry. So you're communicating things that are difficult and it might hurt. It might hurt you, it might hurt others, but you are standing in your power. Okay, communicating your uniqueness and communicating how you are balanced and communicating that you stand in your power <sighs> is new. <laughs> okay. And now you're mastering it, but someone around you doesn't like this and so now you're wondering if you're making the right choice, but you know that you are because that intuition is there. It's eyeballing you. You already know. Right? So now you're moving forward and you are going in the right direction and pretty unabashedly, if I must say, unabashed. Oh, that reminds me of Hope is a Thing with Feathers. Mm. Look up that poem. Beautiful. Anyway, um, and the lovers. Yeah, there's your choice again, but it's also what you want. There's your full expression of your truest self. Hmm beautiful Gemini energy communication master of communication master of intellect and communication there you go you turned off the mind you learned how to communicate you stood in your power and you already let everything that was meant to fall away from you fall away now all you need to do is relax release and allow things to come to you wow <laughs> yeah that does sound like you group one well Carmen at the bottom of the deck energy group. I really hope that this shed some clarity onto you. I can't wait to do the next one of these already for you. And I hope you have a super fantastic and magical day. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. And namaste. Hi, group two. If you selected the Ascended Masters Oracle, then this reading is for you. We're going to dive into your past life. We're going to see what lessons you learned, what lessons you're learning now. We're going to see how they intertwine and we'll see what else comes up. So take charge of the situation and see the other person's point of view. If you selected the Ascended Masters Oracle, that lets me know that you have enlightened or ascended before or <laughs> that you are on the road to doing it now. Okay, well, we have artistic expression. Twin flame. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Confirmation of that for sure. I feel like I really need to listen to my intuition as far as the order that these cards go in. So, artistic expression. Drew in your twin flame. Now you need to listen because you're purifying your expression in order to become fertile in this life. In order to become fertile and abundant in the ways that you want to be and you know you're already destined to be. And the last lesson for you now is to open your heart to love, which goes along with listening. It's not only listening to others, but allowing others to listen to you. Come out of the closet at the bottom of the deck and detach from drama. <laughs> palace Athena. You might want to check your palace placement in your chart. So what I'm getting very strongly here is that in the past you could have been an artist, but whatever your medium was, it could have been divination or magic or physical painting or even speaking. It could have even been your love, the way that you went about your relationships. This expression of yourself in your past life brought you towards complete integration of the energies within your own soul, which is what a twin flame is. Um, 
people think that the soul resides in two different bodies, but that's not actually ever the case. Um, the case is that we're a collective and we're all fractal parts of the same soul. And when we follow the light towards becoming integrated, as a being, we reach our purest light form, but my purest light form is no different than yours, which is no different from your twin flames, which would just be someone on a parallel path to yours who sees you eye to eye, and it can feel like you're the same soul, because you are, but no differently than you and I are. You see what I'm saying? And you've learned this. You've listened to this. If you're here watching this, you know this, because you've already walked this in your last life. Now, you might feel artistic, like an artist without a medium, because you're learning how to purify your expression to say exactly what it is you're trying to say. Because your message is not going to be received by all, it's not for all, and it needs to be received correctly. So in this life, you might be very reserved, not reserved, but well thought out. You might like to have a logical, practical plan before you move about things. You might want to do your shadow work before you go hang out with your friends. You might want to make sure you have your energy balance done, your yoga, your chakra balancing done before you go to work. Um, this is to lead you to your abundance because you know that abundance is within and not without and that that's also how it creates external abundance if you're looking for that too, but always find it within. This is where you open your heart to love. You already know this, now you're here to bring people along with you. You're showing people how to be purified and be fertile and abundant and be loved and loving while at the same time listening um, and resonating with those on the twin flame journey, which does have karmic patterns and you will see um, you will see synchronicities and things will overlay and that's why people get stuck in the same patterns but then they start labeling them certain ways and then like any energy if you lean too far into it you um, have a harder time transmuting it into light anyway <laughs> let's see um, you know I'm feeling not even to use these um, you know, I really want to see why you're here, okay? okay? You've changed your mind about what it means to be victorious. And you're done waiting because you know you don't have to anymore. That's kind of the thing. It's like, you felt like you were having a hard time juggling, um, and you weren't getting what you wanted. But that's because you weren't necessarily sure what it was you wanted, so you were having a hard time communicating it. This, this life, of course. Okay. So, what you are passionate about isn't what's going to bring you material abundance, but you have transcended this. You're learning new ways to turn the world in your favor, or turn the wheel in your favor, but it's like, you're not of this world. So what you're creating, it doesn't come from Earth, it doesn't come from the world, it comes from spirit. And that's yeah, exactly what your message is, it seems like that's what you're trying to tell people. Um, this could mean that there's a message from a guide. Look around you for birds, particularly sparrows or crows. Um, you'll have an idea that comes from a guide, it's divinely guided, 616. It will feel grounded, it will help you with physical manifestations, so something that has to do with um, exterior world. You know, look out for a message. Um, keep saying what it is you're saying, but this will help you smooth out the process. Page of Wands, you're moving towards your spirituality, your light side and the dark side of your spirituality because now this energy is integrated. You're no longer the Empress because you're not in a period of waiting anymore, but you are past the King of Cups. You are in feminine energy and masculine energy. You are the King, but also your emotions are open. So you are heavily acting, but you're also feeling and waiting. King and queen. This, this is you. Love might be looking really nice for you. I just want to say that. It does not always have to mean this, but it can. Just in this life in general, 
but you're realizing that that's, I mean, hello, twin flame, king, queen of cups. It's you. You're both. You're all of it. That's the point. That's the, that's the point of the, <laughs> of the thing. <laughs> so, um, it's like you're leaving all this behind and you already know where you're going because your intuition told you and you've done it before and now you're here just kind of reshuffling along your steps and having some more fun along the way. So if you find yourself waiting, it's only because you're the one that hasn't moved yet. Ah, uh, and tell us off. So let us see what it is you're thinking about from the past that's keeping you stuck. We got heartbreak, something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, so you went for a new beginning, it didn't seem out, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to, wasn't equal give and take, so now you're guarded. Um, just trying to force it, wasn't working, shadow work, wasn't working, a little bit of explosion, tower, I mean not tower, but fives, upset, oh, balancing out, there you go. You already have what you want because <laughs> when you go inside that's the thing when you when you go inside you do your shadow work and then you go oh wait i am where i'm supposed to be because i already put myself here because this is where i wanted to be in the first place <laughs> you know tell me how that works it's lonely a little two of pentacles here needs some friends so let's pull the sun <laughs> so you're juggling feeling conflicted about what it is that you want 19 individual nine happiness uh higher learning travel not as far as 11 but it is nine so you're feeling like you've done this already and so you can go after what you want but it's <laughs> you're starting from the beginning and so it's like an extra hard climb because you're already living in that energy and you're just waiting for time to pass and you might feel alone right now like there aren't really people to enjoy this with you oh and so what is the Seven of Swords trying to say? Put it to the left. You got it. Now, can you guys come in? Oh, it was Cancer and Moon and Twelve. I saw it. So, we are ending a cycle of being in your emotions. And this could have been an issue with your feminine energy. Integrating your feminine energy in this previous life. But we do have the Sun. Again, your masculine energy is getting itself into shape. If you're on the Twin Flame journey that resonates with you, you're working this out in the middle of a couple lifetimes and you've got another person doing this with you this is union energy because we have virgo sun this is a divine masculine communication moving business duality finding balance okay so that's what this is but it's also in a bigger like actual soul sense it's finding what you want and you are aware and you have taken steps and you communicate it but maybe there's like a lot of tabs open in your head you know so you're balancing this Sometimes you kind of want to run away from the whole thing because you're like, oh my gosh, if I can't even express my truth because these people don't understand, how am I going to get where I'm trying to go? Well, bottom of the deck energy is 10 of cups because you already know you're going to get there, you know? If you always saw how you're going to get there, it'd be kind of boring, right? You're like, well, yeah, I know. That's why I'm having a hard time deciding where I want to go. And that's the only thing my intuition isn't telling me because I'm sitting here like a sad sack when I already have what I want. I'm pretending like I don't. Oh my God. Yeah, just don't be stubborn. Ten of Swords, yeah, it's not bad. If you're going through a hard time, I check your palace placement, check the transits, check obviously your sun, but I would say check, you know, Venus, Mercury, Ascendant, Mars, Mercury, check all your placements. See what's going on. The transits literally play such a bigger role than you think. And if you know your placements, you know your chart, you can know your chart inside and out. I'm an astrologer. I've read for this girl literally nine million times. Judgment. I read for her again today. There's a whole placement. I didn't even, I mean, I didn't disregard it, but I just saw it in a new light. You know, sometimes you need to step away from something, see it again, um, in order to appreciate it fully. So maybe that's what's been happening. It's one flame journey, you know what I'm saying? You're keeping something close to your chest. You're feeling kind of guarded, um, a little bit upset. You're like, oh, this thing brings me down. But it's moving. It's moving fast. So of course it's going to come when you're not feeling like you're ready for it because you've already mastered being alone. You're like, yeah, I could be alone all day. Yeah, what's up? Um, but now you don't know if you want to grow this because you're all in your head and you're oh, not what I want. You know what it is, you know, you could run away, but that's not going to be where your sanctity is, you know. If you start new, you're going to find what you want and it might not come in the way that you want it to come because it's not time for things to move slowly anymore and you've already made up your mind. So when things come, but not in the way that you originally thought they were going to, 
just be grateful because it's an opportunity to start something new. Yeah. Um, this Five of Wands keeps coming out. I saw 1222 when I said that, and I'm not going to let his sneaky little butt pass me by. So I'm going to pull a different deck of cards that hasn't been staring me in the face all day, and I'm going to see what is actually up. I'm going to use my Monero deck. Seven of pentacles and a boob and six of cups. Okay. And queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you're like striving for something and you are touching it. It's like, um, oh, that I'm so close you can almost taste it. <laughs> I mean, I'm so awkward. Well, not just that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so you're learning how to reharvest things and wait for them to grow and how to feel what you feel when you feel it and how to look back and see where the present and future are in the past and where they're not in the past. I saw 1333. So there's definitely an element of um, breaking through space time here, which is very interesting. Working, oh yeah, with the Queen of Wands. So you're learning how to manifest across timelines. Okay, yeah, so you're learning how to manifest across timelines. Um, this is why it seems a little hard, because you have already gone back and put it exactly where it needs to be, so now you're trying to manifest against stronger future you manifesting what you really want, because you're too busy trying to get what you think you want, you know what I mean? So right now, you need to like, just lay low, <laughs> purify, enjoy the abundance while it's coming in. If it feels like it's not, it's because you're working too hard, I promise. The second that you relax, the second that you open your heart to love of yourself, ooh, the moon, the second you release all that moon energy that's staring at you, you like her though, she's pretty. <laughs> that's when you're gonna get what you want, right? And strength, yeah, just hang in there a little bit longer and just find what it is that you love as much as this lady loves this dong because <laughs> That's just what life's about. <laughs> All right, yeah, going after what you want. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna end this reading for you here because it's starting to get a little bit redundant. You're going after what you want, but you're not allowing yourself to have it because you've already had it and you are being patient waiting for it to come and you don't wanna keep being patient waiting for it to come. And so you keep putting, there's a sun and moon dynamic again. So you, you keep waiting for something to come that you're building but you've already built it and it's going to come in the way that you've built it so you can't expect it to come in a different way than that if it's hard to see right now it's because you're working through timelines so it's literally you that it's future you higher self you whatever version of you that we're talking about right now oh there's a little spider on my wall hi baby yeah check out spiders check out spiders um they're exoskeleton. Maybe you're all soft and mushy on the inside, and on the outside you're all sun energy, and on the inside you're all squishy like the moon. Like astrology. Astrology's like a spider. I'm starting to get <laughs> off topic here, and I really hope that this sheds some light into your situation and about your your past life. If you were looking for a confirmation you're on the twin flame journey, yes. Um, but also don't get so caught up in it that you lose yourself because that's how the twin flame journey ends up being a journey <laughs> um i love you have a great day and namaste hello star friends who chose the third group you chose the star seed oracle and let's get into your past life reading this energy is super fun and i feel fall into my arms messenger okay hold on a lot of messages Whew yeah <laughs> what's going on baby we got an important message for you today i can feel it i can really feel it i always feel really confident whenever i get a star seed pile i don't know why something about you guys okay season and tonka okay just just go for it water your garden okay water 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 new earth water water it's happening keep holding the vision okay this could literally be you were 
on Mintaka when it was destroyed. And it could be that you were at Atlantis when it was destroyed. It could be that there's very heavy water energy. Some sort of <laughs> mythological seeming to uh how do you want to go there? Um, mythological seeming entity. You were. So you are here. That makes sense. A new earth that's happening. Keep holding the vision. A vision. Oh my god. Why did I pass the vision? So you're working on your spell work. You're doing resources. Oh my gosh. Re you are using your resources to do rituals. And there are so many messages that are coming from my turn out hard to talk. Okay. You are busy. You're busy with your manifestations. You're busy working in the past, the present, the future, within you, external to you, others, this planet, other planets, this lifetime, other lifetimes, always have been, always will be. 144. Okay. So, you're the pile where, you're the pile where you're getting a tarot reading right now, but you could very much just ask your intuition. You're here for entertainment. Cracked open, you are. Seven star sisters, you are finding your soul family tapestry of life expression. Seven divine protection, you are per, you are perfect. You are purposeful. You are connected with your elders and you are singing. You are getting into sound healing. You are diving deep into yourself and you are healing others the way that you've healed yourself. Inner earth. Okay. There is our first clue. Shambhala much? Mentaka, Shambhala, Agartha, Lemuria, Atlantis. You'll know. You'll know. When I said it, you, when I said it, you knew, you know, you know. Um, trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Okay. First thing I felt from you, you are running all over the place because you feel like you need to get everything done, trying to get your soul mission done because you can, because you're here for it, because you can, because you got the space, you got the time, you got the resources, you got the energy. You're like, boom, 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 got it. You got the elders, you got the inner earth, you got the outer earth, you got the heavens. I can keep going on. Um, you're not the only one that's working on this and time is not running out. So feel free to feel allowed if you take a chill pill with boosting your crib. And with the courageous peyoni, open up your heart chakra, let yourself be seen. It's okay for you to be quirky. It's okay for you to not be from here. It's okay for you to be weird, you know? If you wanna do something spunky, do something spunky, you know? Deep cellular healing, it is healing. Arcturus, Arcturus, okay. So perhaps as we know, Orion is a transportation uh like port 333 um it could be that you took a ride from arcturus down to mintaka down to atlantis into inner earth and now you're here listening to my reading thank you my courageous peony uh, i um way in reverse but i'm really feeling okay it's not yet time things are being woven yeah you're waiting on something you're waiting on your time to pounce, and in the meantime, you're making sure that everything is just right. Making sure all your ducks are in a row, or making sure all your uh, <laughs> making sure all your grooves are in a row. What was the lesson that you learned in your last life? Ooh, Capricorn in the moon. Hey, what's up? That's my placement. Capricorn in the moon in the eleventh house. Oh, that's not. Um, <laughs> so you're learning business structure organization paternal masculine energy father skills um vata air either energy combining channeling messages from higher okay, you're communicating a business or business models or help a finite structure in order to help channel messages from ether into air into earth energy you're trying to channel that through your emotions and your intuition you're very highly empathic and you also love to learn about philosophy um religion the occult um higher education it could be that you went and got you one of those fancy paper degrees or it could be um you studied you study whatever it is you study very hard you're very fascinated you love learning 11 self-realization learning about yourself 515 you love learning about changes you love learning about it's fun it's fun to you you love it you're, you're trying to change the world you're here to change the world we got this that's what you're here for but you're learning how to organize your thoughts in a way that helps you to find the humanitarian in you so that you have extra space and you're here or what you are learning is to structure your thoughts in a way that help you continue to grow ah there it is 
structuring your thoughts in perma growth state <laughs> so you're always growing exponentially instead of going around and around and around in circles you broke the matrix now you're here now you're here to help Ooh. glad we got that one out 555 let's move <laughs> wow i'm really channeling your energy i can feel eight of one. Oh my god please just wait <laughs> take a breath breathe with me This is your higher self and this is your physical self. No, switch it. This is your higher self, this is your physical self. You are following your intuition, but you're keeping what you know close to your chest, but you're using your intuition in the physical realm. Uh, you are growing this and you're deciding which way you want to take to get where you want to go because you already know what manifestations are coming for you and you're already on the road to getting them. You know this. This is your physical life. But you have these downloads, you have this understanding that you're keeping close to your chest because you are an outsider and they might not understand you. It's like when Siddhartha, when the Buddha sat under the tree, he meditated and he learned to enlighten himself and he went to try to spread the news. And then he came back sat under the tree again. And what he really needed to learn again was how to enlighten others. And this is what you're doing in a second life essentially um but you're holding these cards close to your chest because you're always open to change your mind but you're not necessarily sure that you're going to change other people's not that you're not growing but you know that your soul tribe will come to you if you build it they will come the field of dreams <laughs> um oh, a lot of runes your ancestors are heavily guiding you i'm really feeling like whoo ancestors vibes um yeah, you might be a little bit in your head about which direction to take because now that you kind of know the rules of the road, you know that you can do anything. And so this could potentially put you in a passive state. Um, it's like you're waiting. You're waiting for something that you know is coming. It's like you're waiting on the go. You know that it's coming, but you don't have it yet. You don't know what it's going to look like, but you know that you recognize it when, it, when it's there, when you're there. So, in the meantime, you are doing what you want to do, following your heart, continuing to nurture what you've already started. You are entirely, completely changing your mind, opening your mind every second of every day, continually expanding. And it's like this Four of Pentacles, it's not stagnation, it's just waiting. It's guided waiting. So if you feel like justice, if you feel balanced, if you feel like you realize that you're balanced, then what you're waiting for is the dust to settle in your surroundings. Yeah, you're just waiting on your manifestations. You're committed to following your heart and following your soul path. And this is what's leading you where you want to go. Aww. You're going to have your soul family, all the love that you want from yourself and from others. You already do have it. You know this. It's how you're moving towards it. Got this little page of wands, cutie, under this hierophant. <laughs> oh, it's like you don't even have your blindfold on. You're just watching the towers fall because if you tell other people what's going on, then you could change the karma. It's like you already know about the timelines. You don't feel the pain anymore. The blindfold's off. And now you're just feeling like you're out here alone with all this information that no one's ready for yet. So now you're just kind of waiting. 
Oh, and we wait. Oh, and we sulk. Oh, and then we act. We try to push. We try to force it. We go, oh, that's not how I build what I want. Okay. Got the similar dynamic in group two. Who wants to go? Queen of Wands. Okay. <laughs> king and Queen of Cups and King and Queen of Wands. Um. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that you're balanced and you're balanced in your emotions you're balanced you're following your intuition you're following your passions you're highly highly spiritual as if that were a for question and now you are giving to others and receiving openly you are healing and you are healing others and you are enjoying your life and helping others enjoy their life i saw 1133 you're helping others realize that they can become masters of their own lives too. 1139, you're realizing that your past creates your future. And 1144, it's the, the clock on the camera. Um, you're realizing that you're always protected. You're always guided. You always have been and you always will be. And it's literally physically impossible, physically, spiritually, metaphysically impossible for you to make a mistake. You've already learned these lessons. You already know what's up. You're just here to help, you know, you know that. And so now all these little earth things are coming up and you're like healing. And what you're hiding is like just the fact that you want to enjoy yourself and you want others to enjoy themselves and you want to give and you want to help people heal and you want to heal more. And you want to help people tap into their intuitions. But you need to trust the timing. Oh man. I hate <laughs> I hate getting those tarot readings where it's like divine timing and you're like I know and then I hate being the tarot reader that's like divine timing and then you're like I know <laughs> um but I really okay yes I can pull time cards page of pentacles one day <laughs> you okay <laughs> You know this. The reason why you're feeling so that so much energy built up about this right now, right here, is because it's it's literally one day away. You know this. You know this in your highest self. That's why. That's why you feel it bubbling up. That's why you feel it bubbling over. <laughs> I know this wasn't as much about your past life as it was about this life, but that's because. And you finished doing your past life. Like, there's nothing more for you to fight for. You've already taken the swords out of your back. You've already taken the blindfolds off. And you don't need to walk alone in order to find enlightenment. You don't need to wait for that anymore because it's already happened. You already took the path. Now you're back helping others get out of situations they put themselves in. You are thoughtful, group three. You are selfless. You are love. You are loved. You are doing everything right. So just trust the timing and loosen your grip because the only one who's gonna be able to tell you what you need to hear is gonna be you and your guides, you and yours. So allow yourself to enjoy the road on the way there. Please, please, please. Because just because you have something to do doesn't mean you're not in a beautiful place, doing beautiful things with beautiful people. Look around, smell the flowers. This is Earth. Beyond new. <laughs> I really hope this helped you to shed some light on your situation. I hope it gave you some clarity. And I really hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, week, month, year, life. And I hope you continue to explore yourself and others. I love you so much. And I hope you have, I will say it again, a great day. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And namaste.